What's up y'all, it's Sebastian Merfex and I'm back with a new video and today I want to break down this Nasdaq trade it's a 5 hour trade, as you can see, very clean trade, snapper entry and snapper exit so let me just break the uh, the trade down, show you guys all these steps let's get started so I wanna look at the hard time frame alright, hard time frame is the key uh, first thing I wanna look at is of course the hard time frame now, daily, we're definitely bullish, we did have that uh, correction now if I drop to the 4 hour you can see that we're above the 200 DMA, which means that I'm gonna look for the buys. That's for you know, uh, that that makes my trading more simple to understand the direction, to understand what I'm going to do, uh, either shorts or buys. So if the price was below the 200 200 DMA, I would look for uh, sells. If it was above, I'm going to look for buys. You're probably gonna ask me why. Uh, it's because when the price is above the 200 EMA, it means that the price is bullish. Below, if it's going below, it means it is bearish. So you can see. Uh, it's definitely it well it was above the 200 DMA. You can see it was bullish, bullish, bullish. We broke below it. Now we started to get below the 200 DMA, and you can see the uh, bearish reaction. Okay, so now you understand what I mean by the uh, 200 DMA. Um, and then what? I saw this high being taken out. I'm gonna say 90% of the times when we take a major high or a major low, we either make a fresh buy setup or a fresh sell setup um in this case we made a fresh buy setup and then uh we did a cook for the sell setup i'm gonna show you guys the buy setup that i took uh so again we took out this high and after we took out this high, i want to understand if the market is going to respect the supply or it's gonna make probably new high and as you can see this is my supply so respected the supply uh, of course we have a break of structure another break of structure uh we should have a sell off but I want to see if the market is going to push up. How I'm going to look at this, okay? How I'm going to predict or understand that the market is going to give me a fresh buy setup. I want to see the market failing to create uh, lower lows. I want to see the market actually or successful making uh, higher highs. So let me just play the market out. You can see the market started to fail. Uh, um, I'm going to say the, the market failed to create new lows and it did create new highs. Now, if I play the market out, this is the point where I understood that yes, we're gonna probably push up. I wanted one more confirmation. I wanted to, the market to break this high, and of course, I don't trade Nasdaq until the um, the market opens. And for me, for my time zone, the market opens at 4:30. Uh, I think it's 9:30 a.m. for the New York time, so the market opens at that time. And you can see the market gave me this confirmation. The market broke above these zones. Uh, the market failed to respect the supply which means we are bullish and then what if i look at the one minute i want to go down to the one minute and i want to show you guys what happened inside uh my priority before the py was created or i'm going to say why this PY was created we swept a huge liquidity okay we swept a big amount of liquidity as you can see with us uh for the smart money this is an orbach we swept this orbach uh even though this orbach is valid we gave a break of structure for the upside. We gave a change of character, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, on the five minute, maybe it's clean. Yeah, so you can see on the five minute, this order block was taken out with this sweep. And on the sweep, there's a five minute order block. So we swept out traders and we created a fresh PY that hasn't been mitigated. Uh, that was my PY that I was, you know, interested in buying. Um, and then you can see while the market opened, we dropped. You can see the huge drop. Now, I waited for the confirmation on the 5 second time frame. On the 5 second time frame, you can see the market was clearly pushing down. We we're making a bearish structure. Now, this is the high that I wanted to see uh, the market breaking. For me to consider this a change of factor. This high or this high or this high, it doesn't matter. Uh, the reason why I'm going to look for this high, it's because this is my last high that broke structure for the downside. I created a fresh structure. Now, if I play the market out, you can see the volume that started to happen uh, once we hit the PY. You can see this huge candle, candle for the upside, the green candle. I liked it. And now I can say this is my change of character and that's exactly what I did. So that's my change of character. My weakest zone is, is right here. This is my magnetic move. Now I'm going to mark this as my retest. And then that's my entry. Stop loss. I'm going to give you some space. I gave you some space. Stop loss below the slope. And I'm gonna aim for the weak high. This is my weak high. I'm gonna explain why I why I marked it right here. But let's say I give you some space around here. Uh, that was my trade. Let me just play it out. 
look at that it started to retrace a little bit and then all of a sudden when they swept all these lows boom we just pushed up look at that clean push up so the trade a clean trade and then it hit my tp uh so take profit wise or before i get into the take profit i want to uh talk about why i put my profits or the tp above here okay about this high and why it did not uh i put i put it right here this supply even though you're gonna say oh this supply broke structure on the five five minute one minute uh doesn't matter and uh what you're gonna say is oh the market failed to create a new high why why are you going to aim for this high guys it's simple yes the market failed to create a new high but remember that we are bullish from the macro structure so we're bullish with this momentum we cannot just push up and create this kind of a double top i'm gonna say and just ignore it all right and then just drop respect the supply we can do that and one thing that really uh pushed me let's say to put to my to put my tp level right here it was this wick guys every time we have a huge wick we have to fill it we have to fill it either like we fill the 0.5 of it or we fill the whole wick it's either one of those so in this situation there was a lot of confluences where i would just put my tp above here the volume was very good uh liquidity there was some sort of like a double top as you can see very very close um this wick and the price action on the seconds within this py you can see if there was like a i'm gonna say an orbach let's say if there's an orbach or a magnetic candle that's actually clean and not this type of liquidity structure i would have i would have probably thought that i could you know secure some profits at the supply but you can see that it's not really clean it's kind of a choppy also um choppy price action which gave me more you know confluence to really put the tp above here now that was my take profit i secured 50 percent uh the, at the top right here that was my 50 percent mark and then the full tp i secured full tp exactly uh right here around here when i saw the market just moving up i secured 50 percent here and then manually i secured 50 percent around here so the full tp uh, was around here before the uh meltdown and if i continue with the uh, ripple mode you can see that it just melted so a snapper entry snapper exit um that's the sauce guys so hope you guys enjoyed a very quick video about how i took this trade uh if you have any question you can write it down below in the comments but uh that's it, a clean trade and shit to the point so hope you guys enjoyed